Hello, everybody. This is Gary. Today is June 29th, 2019. It's Saturday. It's 10.42 a.m. in Rochester, New York. And this video is about quitting smoking. Um, I smoke heavily. I smoke a pack of cigarettes a day, which is 20 cigarettes per day. Um, and I've been thinking about quitting smoking. And there's a couple of different ways to go about it. I did quit one time for five years. And... Um, that was the most successful time that I had quit smoking, but I went back to it when my girlfriend died from HIV and AIDS. I was upset and I didn't care anymore and I just started smoking again. That was back in 2001 and it's 2019. So I tried to quit smoking again. Um, then I quit for five years with a drug called Chantix, C-H-A-N-T-I-X. Um, you can get it from your psychiatrist or your regular medical doctor. Um, and ask them about it. I'm not a doctor, and I'm not saying you should or shouldn't take Chantix. I'm just saying it's an option. Um, what's unique about Chantix is that it doesn't have any nicotine in it. You take it for a couple of weeks, then you abruptly stop smoking after the first two weeks and continue to take the Chantix. It's supposed to reduce your urges for having a cigarette or smoking in general, I guess, pipe, uh, cigars, that kind of thing. Um, another way to quit, of course, is just cold turkey without any help. You just stop and try to get through it. Um, another way is to gradually reduce how much you're smoking over time. And another way of quit, of course, is those products that do contain nicotine, nicotine gum, nicotine lozenges, which you put in your mouth and suck on, um, nicotine nasal spray, which you spray in your nose, um, nicotine patches, which we wear on your skin. There's a lot of different nicotine products out there that can help you quit smoking. And a lot of people either stop abruptly when they start the nicotine, which you really should do because if you smoke while you're wearing a nicotine patch or nicotine gum or you're using a nicotine lozenge, you might overdose yourself on the nicotine and actually poison yourself. So if you're going to use nicotine products, you shouldn't be smoking while you're wearing a nicotine patch or using nicotine gum or using a nicotine lozenge because you could get yourself really sick and get too much nicotine into your system and overdose on it. Um, I probably will ask my psychiatrist when I see him. I'm not sure when I'm going to be able to see him. His schedule's all messed up right now. And uh, he's been filling out my prescriptions electronically over the telephone. Um, but I don't know when I'm going to be able to see him. His schedule's messed up for some reason at the clinic that I go to. Um, but I'm going to ask him about using nicotine gum or nicotine patch, or maybe use Chantix, one or the other. Um, I'm not sure yet. Um, I'm not even absolutely sure that I'm going to be able to quit smoking, but I'm going to give it a try. Um, but like I said, just to recap, um, you can use nicotine patches, nicotine gum, nicotine lozenges, nicotine nasal spray, or you could use Chantix, which is spelled C-H-A-N-T-I-X. Um, and you have, that's a prescription drug. It doesn't contain nicotine. You have to get it from your doctor, um, medical doctor of some kind, whether it's a psychiatrist or general practitioner. Um, you can stop abruptly without using anything and just see if you can quit, or you can quit without using anything else and do it gradually. Um, for me, I think Chantix would probably be the best way to go. Um, it's just a matter of getting my health insurance to approve using it. They would probably want me to use the nicotine products first because it's cheaper, but it may not be as effective. And if I could prove to them that I've already tried nicotine patches and nicotine gum and it didn't work, then they might prescribe um, Chantix. So I guess that's all for now. Again, I'm not a doctor and I'm not giving anybody medical advice. I'm simply saying these are options that you have to bring to the attention of your doctor if you want to quit smoking. And when I say doctor, I don't mean a psychologist. I mean a psychiatrist or somebody else with an MD, a medical degree, um, your family physician, your general practitioner, whoever it might be, um, whoever you get your health care from. In the United States, there's nurse practitioners and physician's assistants that can also prescribe medications. They're not MDs, but they do have the ability to practice some medicine and write prescriptions, um, which is often very common, especially in mental health, because psychiatrists are few and far between, and it's not always easy to get a psychiatrist um, who's available to prescribe your medication. Some people turn to registered nurse practitioners 
or physician's assistants which can prescribe medications, including psychiatric medications. I lived in a smaller town before, and um, they had no psychiatric clinic. So I was getting all my psychiatric meds from a nurse practitioner and a physician assistant, neither one of which is a physician, but New York State and the United States, they can both write prescriptions. Even though they were not psychiatrists, they wrote all my psychiatric as well as my medical prescriptions. So again, um, I'm going to try to quit smoking. Don't know when I'm going to try it. And if anybody's got any comments, suggestions, criticisms, whatever, leave them down below in the comment section.